Boys and girls of grade 5, welcome to our mathematics class today. How have you boys and girls been? I hope that you have been staying safe and healthy. My name is Miss Yelita Brown Phillips and for today's lesson we will be focusing on changing an improper fraction to a mixed number. Now, before we go there, we're going to do a little recap. Do you boys and girls remember what we said fractions are? Yes, we said a fraction is a part of a whole. It represents anything that is less than one. So we have to look at what are proper fractions, what are improper fractions and what are mixed numbers or mixed fractions as you would see in some books before we move into our topic for today. So let's start with a proper fraction. A proper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is less than the denominator. Or in simpler terms, you would say that it is smaller than the denominator. It has a small head and a big body. Example, two-fifths. In the fraction two-fifths, two is the numerator. And we see that two is less than five. One-fourth, one-ninth, and three-tenths. Could you boys and girls list some more proper fractions? I'm sure you will be able to. An improper fraction. An improper fraction is a fraction where the top number or the numerator is greater than or equal to the bottom number or the denominator. We say that it is top heavy. We say that an improper fraction has a big head and a small body. An improper fraction has a value that is greater than 1. Example, 9 fifths. Look at the numbers. Look at the numerator. The numerator is 9, and 9 is greater than 5. So 9 fifths is an improper fraction. 7 fourths, big numerator, small denominator. 10 thirds, big numerator, small denominator. So boys and girls, you see it is important that you know how to differentiate your fractions. We will now move to the mixed fraction or the mixed number. A mixed fraction or a mixed number is made up of a whole number and a proper fraction together. When we're writing a mixed fraction or a mixed number, the whole number is always written bigger than the fraction. Example, two and one half, five and one fourth, or we can say five and a quarter, six and three fourths, or we can also say six and three quarters. We can use either an improper fraction or a mixed fraction to show the same amount. Let us look at an example. We have one and three quarters. We have one whole pizza there. Do you like pizza? I love pizza. 
one whole pizza and we have three quarters, three pieces out of the whole. But that one and three quarters can also be written as seven quarters or seven fourths. Look at the diagram there. The whole is divided into four quarters. The next piece of pizza is divided into three quarters. So we see that we can use an improper fraction and a mixed number to show the same amount. So let's move on quickly into what we have to do for today. Boys and girls, are you ready? I want you to pay keen attention. Now remember we said in mathematics, everything is a process and it's done by steps and we have to follow rules so that we can arrive at the correct answer. So we have some rules that we would follow so that we can arrive at a correct answer when we are converting improper fractions to mixed numbers. Now, the first rule says, divide the numerator by the denominator. Boys and girls, do you remember what is the numerator? Yes, the numerator is the number at the top of the fraction. And the denominator is the number at the bottom. Now, the next rule says, write down the whole number answer. Then, you write any remainder above the denominator. So we're going to go across quickly to an example. Don't be afraid. It's quite simple once you get the hang of it. So our example would be convert 15 fourths to a mixed number. Step one. What did we say we must do? Yes. Divide the numerator by the denominator. So let's identify the denominator. The denominator is 4 and the numerator is 15. So we are going to divide 15 by 4. Now here is where your tables come in. That's why I always encourage you to do your tables or to learn your tables. So 15 divided by Four. How many groups of four can we get from 15? Yes, we can get three groups of four from 15 with a remainder of three. So, what number is the whole number? Three is the whole number. Four, three is 12 and 3, 15. Where do we write the remainder? We write the remainder at the top of the denominator. So 15 fourths converted to a mixed fraction would be 3 and 3 fourths. Now, you have to do two for me on your own. So boys and girls, here is your chance to show what you would have learned. The first one is 34 tenths. And the next one is 25 fourths. Change these improper fractions to mixed numbers. Change these improper fractions to mixed numbers. So take a minute quickly and do that. And then we'll be right back here to work it out. Boys and girls, remember to do neat work. Your work says a lot about you.
good. You should be finished by now. I am excited to see how you boys and girls work this problem. Now our first step says to divide the numerator by the denominator. Our numerator, 34. Our denominator, 10. How many times can 10 go into 34? 10 into 34, 3, with a remainder of 4. So our whole number is 3. And our remainder is 4. So we place that 4 over the denominator, which is 10. So our answer becomes 3 and 4 tenths. Do you have that, boys and girls? Very good, excellent work. I am proud of you. Let's go to the next fraction. 25 fourths. The rule says divide the numerator by the denominator. Our numerator is 25 and our denominator is four. How many groups of four can we get from 25? Four into 25, six, with one remainder. So six becomes our whole number. What do we do with the one? We place the one over the denominator four. So 25 fourths, as a mixed number is six and one fourth. Boys and girls, I trust that you would have learned quite a lot today and you will do excellent work whenever you have a problem to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. So boys and girls, that has brought us to the end of today's lesson. Remember, study to show yourself approved, be respectful, and always be obedient. Bye boys and girls. See you next time.